Hello, my divine kings and queens. I hope y'all having a good day. Before we get into these messages, I just wanted to let y'all know really quick that you can purchase a copy of my book, Reinvent Yourself. It is never too late. It is available in the description box below. It is also available on my website, divinehealingministry.org. I want you to understand that this book is an important piece to your spiritual and healing journey. Why? Because it details and outlines some of the things and important steps that you have to take towards understanding what it is that God has for you, understanding yourself better and realizing that in life, everything may not go the way that you've probably wanted it to go. And this book outlines in details how you can release toxicity, how you can understand when you're what you're going through um, as you transition and as you start to grow, as you start to elevate, as you start getting closer and building a closer relationship to God, how you can step into your divine femininity and masculinity, how you can step into your truth and how, and how you can start moving forward in speaking your truth. So I want you to understand that if you need a friend, you got it in me. If you need love, you got it in me. Make sure that you go out and buy a copy of my book. Leave me comments, leave me feedback so I, I can understand and know how my book has helped you on your journey. And until next time, stay prayed up and be blessed. And let's get into these messages. And this is my website where you'll have access to all my social media links, um, as well as a free guide. You'll be able to check out some apparel and the store section of my website, the services that I provide my clients, as well as just looking around and seeing what I have to offer. Um, if you're seeking consultation, please be sure to reach out to me. Hello, my divine kings and queens. I'm back to do another video. And today's message, God is saying they've been served. Play around till they got caught up in their own web. Now they stuck. God said they got served. Do you hear me what I'm saying? There's a lot of you who was in situations. Let me tell you something. <laughs> See, I always tell people all the time, mind how you treat people. I don't care what you was able to get away with. I don't care what you thought you got away with. I don't care how easy of a target. I don't care how easy of a prey. Whatever, however you perceive this person to be. Mind how you treat people and speak of it in the Bible. Treat others and do unto others as you have done unto yourself. Do you hear me what I'm saying? See, these people thought they were invincible. Thought they, you know, like I said, was bigger than God. Till they got served. And they got dished out the very same treatment that they were giving to others. You know, you heard that about a person can't even take their own server person. Uh, what is it? Person can't take their own medicine. I mean, they can prescribe it. They can tell you what to take. But when it comes time for them to take it, they like, no, that's not for me. That don't apply to me. No, that that's not. No, that's not going to work for me. But see, there's no respect of persons when it comes to God coming through and balancing out the scales and see that's exactly what's happening see these people got away with it for too long and they didn't understand how in encountering you that this was actually going to serve as a lesson for them do you understand what i'm saying about how to treat people see they went somewhere and was dealt the very same hand that they gave to you when you were so loving you were so caring and you were so cherishing them do you understand what i'm saying i don't care if this is a friendship this is a relationship whatever the case may be i'm telling you that god said these people done got served and see now they're sitting somewhere stewing in their own mess a bed that they very well created so now god said they got a lie in it because see let me tell you something even if these people try to come around and sell you on the story which we already know you ain't gonna buy it i hope you're not god said they were shown the way they were shown who you were it wasn't like they weren't shown the life that they could have had if they would have stuck it out with you. It wasn't like they wasn't shown what could have happened if they did not betray you, as opposed to what would happen if they did. People were shown the way when it came to you. This is why I'm telling you, this is applicable on all levels. I don't care if it's a relationship, a friendship, family. You was dealing with some treacherous people who did not care when it came to you. They did not care when it came to you because they perceived you to be a nobody. They didn't think any harsh treatment or judgment would come unto them because they didn't think that you were loved. They didn't know that you was you was favored. They didn't know that you was protected. They didn't know you was blessed. Do you understand? They didn't know you was held in high honor. But let me tell you something. Huh? When them tables turned and they got a taste of what it feels like 
to go through the very same, very same situations, feel the very same emotions that they try to make others feel, they didn't know how to handle it. And now they're trying to jump shit, thinking that you're going to jump in and save them. But baby, you don't know how to swim. You ain't finna jump in that water and God wouldn't let you even if you wanted to. Why? Because he said they were shown the way. They were shown who you were. They wanted to be greedy. They wanted to do their own thing. They wanted to be of the world. So God says, step back and let them. It's going to hurt you, but step back and let them. Because see, God, what he's, what he's saying is some people not going to learn until they go through the very same things that they put others through. They're not going to learn. They got to hit it. They got to feel it in order to understand that they shouldn't be going out here treating people like that. They got to hit it and they got to feel it in order to understand they don't want to be in those situations no more. Moving carelessly throughout life. So when I tell you, baby, they done got served because it's almost like I'm taking from um, this this movie, right? And I know y'all always be like, Victoria, you always take from these movies. But I'm telling you this movie that is um, In Too Deep, right? And um, with In Too Deep, uh, I haven't seen it in a while, but whatever happened with that, Omar Epps um, befriended LL Cool J, right? One of them was in the game, the other wasn't, was an undercover cop. But he knew he had to befriend this person order to get what he wanted until things hit the fan, truths were revealed, and a lot of things blew up in his face, right? Um... And it wasn't until then he was able to see that person's true colors or see the situation for whatever it was. So long story short, it's like these wherever these wherever this person went or whatever these people did to you, they perceived it like if something was going to work in their favor, they were trying to do something that was going to be a benefit to them, but it wasn't beneficial to you. So these people were selfish, but they were sold a dream. And because they wanted to be caught up in this illusion, God told you he had to save you and pull you back, whether it was willingly or by force. You guys had to end up stepping away and leaving this situation because these people had to go about their way and learn valuable lessons about what it means to go up against you. Whether they went somewhere and got in another situation, whether they went somewhere and betrayed you and stepped up in something, God is showing you that at the end of the day, these foundations that these people built is crumbling. Because of what they had to do to attain it, who they had to hurt and leave behind and betray to get there. Do you understand what I'm saying? I always tell you, God say he ain't going to bless whatever caused you stress. He ain't going to bless it. He ain't going to bless it. And so now these people have gotten served because whatever it is, uh, whatever it is they tried to build, whatever relationship or friendship was formulated, it was already in motion. It did not work. They did not see um the fruits of their labor in that situation. They invested in that. They worked hard for it. And it's sad. And it's going to hurt you. But you didn't come here if you, you wanted me to address something up. You came here because you knew I was going to tell you what, what it is. Uh, they went somewhere that was dressed up better than you, looked better than you. And I'm here to tell you that when the devil wants to detour you and take you up off your path, one thing that he does, I told you a long time ago in my first video that I, I, I uploaded these Jezebels are dressed up to look good because you're not going to leave what it is that God has for you if it was not. You get what I'm saying? So on the outside, it looks like, you know, this is something that they want. It's, it's hot. It's 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 hitting. You get what I'm saying? And it's of the world. And see, one thing about it, what I'm trying to tell you, a valuable lesson about, you know, what people can stand to learn from this is. Number one, um to control their lustful desires and not to give in to temptation, to heal and cure themselves from their own addictions and internal demons, not to judge a book by its cover, and you don't bite the hand that feeds you. You treat others as you yourself would want to be treated. There's so many lessons that people are learning and going up against you and being served. The very same hand and cards that they dealt out to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they don't know how to take it because, see, they could very well have lost in knowing that they can't come back and knowing that they, they burnt that bridge. I'm talking about they did it in front of your face. Nasty. Went somewhere and spread it your business. Nasty. Went somewhere confided in someone who they knew was an enemy. Nasty. Went somewhere congregating, sitting up here talking and gossiping about you. Nasty. Went somewhere laughing about you as if their life is so much better. Nasty. God says some of these people can't hold a candle next to you, but they sit up here and they talk about you. Why? Because they operated from that envious and jealous spirit. They know that they not. But deep down inside, they don't want to admit it. So what they do, they try to break you down and cut you behind your back with their words. 
God says it doesn't matter because, see, everybody is learning by the losses that they're experiencing in their life, uh, the karma that they're going through. What goes around, come back around. Almost oh, definitely it do. And you're learning a lesson about how to love yourself, how to heal, and how to move forward, right? And be alert and be attentive and how to protect yourself better and not allowing any and everyone to come in and infiltrate and get in your space and your energy because you know everyone isn't deserving of that. You know you have to protect yourself out here very heavily. Because you don't know what people are dabbling into. You don't know who they're attached to. You don't know what spirits sexually have attached onto them. And now these people are bringing all that drama and all that baggage onto you. God said the devil is a lie. He had to spare you. He had to save you from your own demise and from your own destruction. Because a lot of you was just not looking at things from a spiritual lens, but looking at things in the physical. Because you could only see what you wanted. You couldn't see past that. You could only see what you wanted to see. Because some of these people you loved and cared for. You would never have imagined that they would sit up here and try to work behind your back and cut you the way that they did behind your back and not support you. Some of these people were doing it and coming back and smiling to your face, throwing stones, hiding their hand. Till God revealed it to you. Till God revealed it to you. Truths have been revealed. Bridges have been burned. The tables have turned. These people have been served. You have learned your lesson. God is clearing the path for you and he's opening up the doorway. For you to step into blessings. These people are going to turn back and see you have been. These people are going to see when they turn around. All these chain of events and unfortunate events that's going to be happening in their life. They're not going to be blessed until they learn and change the error of their ways. Some people, like I said, are not healed enough to do that. They're not courageous enough to fight off those internal demons and pray to get them and wean them off. You get what I'm saying? Those evil spirits off of them. Some people... Uh, don't have the capability to do that and they don't want to learn how to do it. You get, do you get what I'm saying? They're, they're comfortable living in sin. They're comfortable dwelling in darkness. God didn't want you being attached to these people. So he had to get them on their pathway and get you up on your pathway. You was always meant to be blessed. See, you would have been a blessing to these people had they played their cards right and had that act right. But see, he had to save you. Now it's time to get somewhere where you belong, where you're cherished, where you're appreciated. Where you're put on a pedestal. Where people are not going to sit up here and be greedy and be lustful and deceptive and manipulative towards you and try to be controlling. And when they see a good thing, they're going to hold on to it and know what to do right and know how to do right by it. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what's happening in your life. I don't care if these people are calling you like, well, you know what, Victoria? They tried to call me the other day, baby, because they got served. Because, see, they talked the big talk, a big game, walk the big walk, prospering off of you. Given to someone else, taken from you, showed you one way, showed you one side. And it was a completely different thing when it came to these Jezebels and when it came to these harlots and when it came to these people of the world. Be it friends, be it lovers, be it associates, be it whoever. Because you were so different. See, some people aren't willing to step into unfamiliar territory. They're not willing to try to understand what's different. It's like, if it's not this, it's black and white. It's no gray shading in between. But oh, they learned a very valuable lesson. They spoke too soon. They acted too soon. Um, and it's unfortunate that things had to be broken up the way that it did. But I always tell you, God's rejection is for your protection. If things don't work out and there's a delay in your plans, that's his protection too. If he's sitting up here and things don't go your way the way that you wanted to go, hey, that's his protection too. You will never understand why things work out the way it do. Just understand that it's working for your better good, for your highest good. It's working out in your favor and for your highest good. Sometimes what you want may not be what serves your highest good. But what God wants for you will always serve your highest good. And his will will always be what? Done. <laughs> God said you ain't got nothing to worry about no more when it comes to these people. Because you learn certain lessons. Whatever it is that they're going through, let them stew in their own mess. Because they very well created it for themselves. You had no dealings with it. You had no parts of it. And he made sure of that. That's why he cut it off. Do you understand what I'm saying? However it go and wherever the chips, may the chips fall wherever they, they, they lay, they lay. And at the end of the day, you got to get on to what it is that God has for you, baby. If, in fact, it's meant for certain situations to return to you, understand that love will never return to you void. Love will never return to you void. But a lot of the times when God moves and clear out your path, 
He doesn't want you looking behind and what's looking what he saved and delivered you from. He wants you to focus on the plan going forward. You are stepping into a new phase of your life um, because God ensured that you were going to have a blessed life um, and not a stressed life. Do you understand what I'm saying? So um, just understand that the path has been cleared out for you, that these people have been served. And baby, you are about to be honored in a major way where people are really going to be feeling bad about how they did you. But they made their bed, so now they have to lie in it. And you get to ride off into your peace, love, and happiness and prosperity. The storm is over now. And I can finally see the sunshine soon well beyond the clouds. Mm. I can feel heaven, yeah. Heaven is over me. Come on and set me free. Oh, 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 yes, you have been freed. I just wanted to sing a little snippet of that because that's the song that came to me. Baby, you've been freed. Listen, heaven is over you, elevating you to the next level of your life. So get ready. Um, you have been healed. You are blessed. You are divinely favored. And this is why things will always work out in your favor. No matter how many times the enemy tries to go up against you, you see how he blocks their attacks and he blocks the evil assignments that they're trying to work up against you because, see, he has a bigger and better plan for you. And listen, this is why he's telling you and ushering you into a new level of your life. This is why he's taking and elevating you into greater heights of your life. This is why you are already predestined to be blessed, not stressed confirmation because at the end of the day he had to clear out certain people out your life and certain 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 some of these people you have to clear out they chose to willingly walk out and god said listen listen they want to walk let them walk because what they about to walk into it ain't gonna be pretty but see all this in and out it's done and it's over with because god is sick and tired of being sick and tired of you being hurt of you being misused of you being mishandled of you being talked about of you being discriminated against of you being discarded for trash. They see they thought they was throwing you away for something good. They thought you was the trash, but who what they ran to is trash, and that's what they about to see. And see, I say that in, in all due respect, because of how nasty that they were, and they didn't have to be that way. But see, we all learn lessons. Do you understand what I'm saying? We all learn lessons, and that's what this life is meant to be. We learn lessons. Now we can choose to uh, learn them, heal, and grow from them. And then that's when God's open up certain pathways of our life and he takes us to greater heights of our life or we can choose to remain stuck and stagnant. And that's where it comes into play where you have hurt people who hurt people. You have people who constantly sit up here and try to inflict pain and harm onto others because they haven't healed from certain situations and people whom they encountered that they was in. But as for you, hmm. God got big plans for you. And as for these enemies and these people who went up against you, they've been served. And until next time, I want you to keep your head up. Never let nobody see you sweat. You already know I come with that real, never that fake. Continue to reach one, teach one, bring others to the JC game. Until next time, stay prayed up and be blessed. I love y'all.